Hello everyone, you're welcome back. This is uh, the continuation of the themes and we are going to make sure that we make our theme look really good. So what I want you to do is open your blog, your back end of your blog and go to another tab and open the, the free um, uh, theme that you downloaded. Now we are going to look at the live demo of this theme. And I want to change this to desktop mode. So we have something good to work with here. Great, it's on desktop mode right now. Now this is uh, uh, somebody else's uh, uh, template. So if this is your template, you just have to open this at your back end. You need to look for a tab and open so that when you click on your tab icon, you can see then the the the, the the theme you open your website and the back end of your website you need these three things to do it so that you can compare your website as uh, the theme you open so that is it so let's get back into this i want to go back to b templates because this is not what i downloaded so this was for an example if you downloaded this now let's go back to b template so i can i can pick up the theme i downloaded so you should know the theme you downloaded already okay so let me just scroll down scroll down scroll down scroll down and uh, i can see that this is my theme this is the theme i downloaded health tips this is my theme so i'm going to click on the demo and open up the theme in real life so i can i can see how the theme looks like again i need to tap on the desktop mode for this okay now uh, i'll introduce you to to what uh, those uh, sliders as we said now this is what sliders are when you see these images that run through they are called sliders and you can change them if you downloaded something like this maybe it came like mine which showed you that you could install that which has slider and that which did not have sliders now slider is a great tool with this slider i can change so many things but to change slider it's a little bit different now let's go at the top of the block we're going to start up right here now if you see i have home this thing has home login google plus pinterest it has uh, uh, down here we have the logo here we have the health beauty home about page facebook twitter now i want mine to have these things above at this point so what i'm going to do is but you can guys you can customize the background image and change the background image as well as you did last time with the customization of the theme in blogger so what you have to do is let me let me head on to my own website now this is just the demo this is what it shows like but let's see how my website shows like so let's go to my website right now where is it oh this is the i think this is the live demo should that be okay this is my website my website should be popping up here it has the same images i think for the sliders the sliders uh, are all with the same images now i want to uh, look at my web my website and see how how close it is to to the dem to uh, the theme i downloaded so what you need to do is change this to desktop version okay so we're on desktop version so what i'm going to come i'm going to come and you see that if i go up here what i have is just home i don't have the the the, the difference um i don't really mine don't really has uh, the logging and everything it doesn't have the logging the google plus pinterest and everything so if i wanted to add logging i'll just go ahead and add it now for you to add logging you need to add a login page where people can come and log in but let's just go back to my to my uh, page so you need to add a login page. okay guys so um, this is it now oh. We are finally here on our block. I, and if you look at uh, the website right now, you're not going to see these uh, um, items that look like the repair tools. That's because we're using Chrome. So I have another um, browser that looks more like a computer, mm -hmm. which is called Yandex. And Yandex is powerful for, for uh, optimizing a website when you're building it. So if if you think you want to use Yandex, you can go ahead and download it from the Play Store, but it's okay. If you don't have, you can just use your, your, your back end. 
now what the index does is that when it gives you these icons like this you can directly you can you can directly edit the your block from your front end so when you look at the front end right now um the icon of um is this a gear no it's not a gear but rather it looks more like a repair tool so what you need to do is click on this icon here it's going to carry you to the back end of your website directly so when i click on this icon it's going to carry me to the back end of my website where i can change some few things now look at this this is where we are now this is page menu you see we have only home there so we can add more to it so let's say i wanted my contact a, a form to be at that point and my about me since there's a login i don't have a login yet but i can create a login page so i, I have created two pages about me and contact me page so i can click on this sorry let's start with home let's start clicking with home the order in which you click is the order in which they will appear so we click on home i click on about me then i click on contact us then i come down and i click on save now when i click on save it's going to take me back to my a, a website and you're going to see uh, and you're going to see the changes it made so let's see let's see what happens um dun, dun, dun. Huh, that is it so we have home we have the about me we have the contact us in the same way i built the website but guys don't bother when somebody visits your website it's not going to see this you're the only one who sees it because you're the one who has the the, the, the account signed into your to your uh, phone or to your computer or whatever so this it is literally the same thing you do here for to check okay let's go down just one step behind so whatever i want to add here even if it is your facebook just come on just create a page about your facebook page and click on on uh, uh just put your you put your link your facebook link just go and copy uh facebook.com slash your name your facebook name as it appears that will be your facebook link or you can open facebook on a browser you so you you um sign in on that browser so that you can have a, a link upward when you enter your your profile so that you see that 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 will become your 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 facebook link so people when they come here they want to check you out on facebook they can click here and meet you on facebook and they chat more with you so let's see this is health daily this is normally not here i just i was the one who changed this sorry i was working with it on back end but this is uh this is where you have to change your logo and uh, to change this logo i will advise you to not click on anything on this website but rather you may you may not have this logo right now but rather go to the back end of your website and let's look at the let's look for the back end of my website this is the black back end here so i will go to the back end of my website and make sure i am on layouts so i'll click on the main menu icon and scroll down to layout and click on layout and then the layout box opens opens up now this this that uh the changes we did right now that we put the menu the contact us and about me you can still do it here and uh, this is where you do everything you just come and click on the edit button that is at the top there you're going to see that we'll have uh those things checked out now let me reduce this in size because it seems like it's a little bit bigger okay now you can see that we have uh, the home we have the about uh, about me page and uh, if we scroll below we have the contact us so that is that is how it is so you can add your pages from here you cannot if you don't want to do it from the front end of your website you can do it from the back end so what we are going to do is that we are going to cl press uh, click on cancel because we don't want to change anything at the top again we just want to come down to the header now this header is where we have the the when you just come down immediately you meet where you have where uh, the the logo so we cl click on edit and this is where you bring in your logo this is where you bring in your logo guys so let's reduce this in size again working with the phone is quite difficult uh let's so you, you're going to click on upload image from your computer and when you click on upload image from your computer it's going to um it's going to ask you to import an image and you're going to mm. click on this choose file and when you choose file it's going to carry you to the images on your computer or on your phone so if i click on choose file right now it's going to carry me and bring up some images so i can choose from so let's wait for that to happen okay that's happening you see that there's an about us look at this now if you look here this should be where your logo should go well like you can change it now 
what I want you to do is always try and uh, clean up these areas and allow just very few things here. So we have follow follow us, popular post tags, uh, latest post. Now I want to remove something like report abuse. or so let's just allow it. Let's um, we, we can you can remove popular post again here because I think I see that appearing the second time. Popular, the same thing. Search bar again. We can remove search bar because there are so many. So what you need to go, you need to do is uh, sorry, click on um, the B templates.com. Let me see. It's always difficult to remove this uh, B templates.com because it it is part of um part of what who they are. So but let's just click on remove. So we we'll click on remove. So they, they added that to show that it's from B templates. But if we click on remove, and uh, we come back to it. We come back to our to our website and then get down you see we, we are not going you are not going to see b templates anymore and this is how you we remove uh, each and everything i can remove this bar also this navigation bar that we that we're coming so many so i can click on it and when i click on it i'm going to remove it so when i click on okay i'll remove that so we finally have a navigation bar upward this is a navigation bar this is one so i did not need the one that was down here so i can allow block archives so popular post popular so there's popular post there's popular so i want to remove popular just come below popular this is popular so this icon will be this one so i have to click on it so when i click on that it's going to come up here so let me just remove that you remove that real quick and when you do that click on remove and click on ok and uh, you see that it goes away now you can do this at the back and also if you don't have this icon you can go back at the back end and do it we're just cleaning up the the sidebar because when it is uh, condensed like this it distracts the reader from all this so we are cleaning it up especially when you have so many blog posts already so let's see latest I don't um, I don't want but it's always good to allow latest. Now you can see Zilans is powered by Blogger. Now we cannot remove powered by Blogger because it's made inbuilt with Blogger. But you can add your name on it. So you are just clicking on this icon or going to the back end. Okay, I think I should show you how to go to the back end first. So let's get to the back end. We get to the back end. So that is, let's let's remember the name of it. It is called uh, after follow us. We have a popular tax and then we have latest so before that we are going to do that so let's get into the tab go to the back end of it go to my back end of my website and um, we'll make sure we are on layouts so you click on this and check if the layout is the one highlighted here so we are on lay layouts right now so what i want to do is go to the sidebar so if you start scrolling down you discover that we have the main body here and the sidebar just close to it so this is this is what I'm talking about the sidebar. So we have the sidebar here. So if you look at we have follow us immediately. You know that sorry. I think some. Okay, so let's look at the sidebar again. So we come down. This is the sidebar. Immediately below the follow us, we have our sidebar two, which is popular post, and uh, we have section the B. The labels so I don't think we have labels yet but let's click on the label gadget and we can click on remove so you want to remove that gadget popular post if you want to remove popular post you can remote attribution gadget to attribute it to to uh, look at the recent lands so it has the attribution gadget is there so I can allow it you can add your name to it if you want so but you can also remove it you can also remove it if you want and once you remove that we have the latest which is a, a javascript you can also remove this it's not bad you can remove that so we click on remove and click on let's see what it says so we remove that let's remove it and click on ok so we are actually editing and making the the bar seems uh, a little making your blog looks lighter because when it is heavy and compact with so many things it distracts the reader so we remove this as well just want to allow few things on your blog 
so it's just block accents accents we can remove accents now and add it uh, later when we have an accents code so we can remove accents right now and add it later when uh, we've qualified to to use a google accents in our block but right now we are not yet so we have to remove this and uh, so let me remove also the follow by email subscribe but you can allow that you can allow that and let's move let's move categories instead so i'm going to remove categories so remove i'm just in the process of making this block look lighter so let's go check out our block now and see how it looks i think it looks a lot more better and simpler now so let's click on this and uh, let it load up we are going to see that so many of the things that we have found here have disappeared okay so you see now at the sidebar we just have follow always um search bar home popular we don't have powered by blogger again we've removed that attribution so you see that it is this this part is now simple so that's what you have to do guys you have to go to the back end so all these things i could do at the back end you've just seen me delete things here from the back end and i also deleted from the front end so if you have a yandex browser it will do that for you but if you don't have you can always do this let's say i want to i want to remove about me from here and allow only contact us i want to remove contact us i have to click on this icon or for those who will not have it you go back to your back end this will be the first header so what you need to do is click to go back to your back end and make sure you're on layouts guys layouts is is where you need to be so make sure you're on layouts and once you're on layouts all what you need to do is navigate to the top because you this is that is the very first thing you see under layout so let's just this is my top page so this is it page list menus block so i need to click on edit and uh, remove whatever i want to remove add whatever i want to add okay this is home this is about me and this is contact us let's say i want to remove contact us from the top i've just click on delete that delete icon there and i click on save right now and i click on save and uh, let's go back to our blog and see what happened it's going to remove that real fast so this is it on our blog and uh, it loads up you see contact us is no longer there it's about me so this is how we change things right you just have to go and work on yours just work in clean the environment even on dance up dance up is found at the headers so let's go to the header of the block let's go to the header oh which is on the layout the header will be one place down after this will just be the header so we need to click on the header let's say we click on the header and click on edit and uh, you see it is written dance up i can add an image to it if i want so that wraps it up for today's video guys so you can change anything on your blog if you want to and just send it to me guys bye bye for today okay bye link below